So today's yoga session will be a little bit different to uh, the others we've done before. And those of you that have been doing PE with Joe Wicks might recognize a similar site in the background, which is our Wheel of Fortune. So today we're going to be using that to help us with our yoga practice. We will still be starting in the usual way with a bit of breath work and a little warm up and some sun salutations. And then we will be using the wheel to spin and give us um, a variety of different poses and breathing exercises to practice throughout the session. And my glamorous assistant, who's moved completely out of the camera shop, will be helping me to spin the wheel today. So before we get started, if you do have a yoga mat, then make sure that you've got that rolled out um, ready to go. If you don't have one, that's not a problem. Just make sure you have a safe space in which to practice. And most importantly, make sure that you've removed your socks so that you've got good grip on the floor. Um, and anything else you need, maybe just to have either a blanket, although it is quite warm today, or your favorite cuddly toy, available for cuddles in relaxation. So today's class is aimed at children between the ages of four and seven. But as always, if you're a little bit younger or older than that, you are more than welcome to join in. And your grown-ups can even join in too if they want to. Just remember to listen to your body. And if anything feels uncomfortable or you're feeling a bit tired, then do adjust or take rest anytime you need to. So we're going to head over to our mats now and get ready to begin. So find yourself a comfortable seated position. So that might be on your knees or you might be sitting on your bottom with your legs crossed. Whichever one you've chosen, just take a moment to settle into that position and to grow taller through the body using that golden thread to lift the crown of your head up towards the sky. As you rest your hands down on top of your knees and we take three deep breaths together with the chimes to settle into our yoga space. Each time we hear it smelling the flowers with the nose and blowing the dandelions with the mouth. Lovely. So before we get started, we're just going to begin to warm up the body a little bit. So we're going to start with some shoulder rolls, bringing them up to the ears, and rolling them back and down. See if you can even touch your ears with your shoulders. Lovely. And then bringing the arms out in front of you. I'm going to begin to draw some circles with the hands, circling them round one way. And then circling back the opposite way. Lovely. Then give the hands and arms a good old shake down low, up high, out to the sides, just really shaking it all up. Fantastic. And then popping those hands down on top of your knees. Beginning to circle round with the body, just like that wheel will be spinning, circling from the hips, warming up into those hip joints. Send your circles back the opposite way, because our wheel spins in both directions. Fantastic. And then stopping back in the centre. Stretching your legs out long in front of you as we warm up into those feet and ankles, pointing them away from you from our ballet toes towards you for yoga toes. Ballet toes, yeah. yoga toes. Once more, ballet toes, yeah. yoga toes. And then swishing from side to side, just like windscreen wipers. Fantastic. We're going to head over onto our hands and knees, popping the hands beneath your shoulders, your knees beneath your hips, as we warm up into the back of the body. 
We're going to come into cat cow. So first of all, into your cow pose. Lower your belly, bringing your head to look forward. Maybe a little move. And then as you ground the back, push the ground away into cat stretch with a yeah. Yeah. Once more each way. Lovely, stopping in the middle, tuck your toes underneath, lift those hips up towards the sky, and just begin to walk out in your downward facing dog, taking that dog for a little walk, bending alternately. Super, then stepping your hands and feet together, dangling like a rag dog, maybe a little sway from side to side. Stopping in the middle and coming all the way up to standing. So to finish our warm up, we're going to take two sun salutations. We're going to be using our sun salutation song, so if you know it, sing along with us. As we finish stretching out the body, ready to play our Wheel of Fortune game. So standing nice and tall at the front of your mat, hands are together in front of your heart. Take a Big breath in and out and again in and out. Gonna stretch up high, way to the sun, hand down low and tickle your toes. Reach your back, just like a frog, belly on the ground, just like a snake. Look at the sun, now downward dog, and breathe, and breathe. Feet jump up, just like a frog, hand down low and tickle your toes. Stretch up high, way to the sun. Mountain pose, look what you've done. Pause for a big breath in and out. Then stretch up high, right to the sun. Hand down low and tickle your toes. Feet jump back, just like a frog. Belly on the ground, just like a snake. Look at the sun. Now downward dog and breathe and breathe. Feet jump up just like a frog. Hand down low and tickle your toes. Stretch up high, way to the sun. Mountain pose, feel what you down. Fantastic. Taking another deep breath in and out. Super. So now we're ready to begin playing our Wheel of Fortune game. So for those of you who haven't seen this before on Joe Witz or even remember the game show from years ago, if you're a grown-up watching, then on our wheel we have written lots of different yoga poses and they're all categorised by different types. So we've got some red ones for strength building, we've got some dark blue ones for calming, light blue ones for balance, green ones for a couple of breath exercises to help us calm and regulate. We've got our pink ones which are our chest opening, back bending poses, and our yellow ones we have a very important pose that we use in every session, which is our mountain pose. And we also have a mystery prize. So if we happen to spin the mystery prize, where it is at the moment, I have a selection of other poses on these lucky dip cards that my helper will choose one of, and we will do that together. So we're gonna take it in turns to spin the wheel, and see what comes up and we're just going to practice holding each pose for around three breaths really noticing which parts of the body we can feel working today or we'll take our breath exercise for around 30 to 60 seconds depending which one we get so 
I know she's desperate to do it. So we're going to let my helper have the first spin of the wheel. Make it a good one. Big old spin. Okay, so our first yoga pose is Cobra. So we've just been working on this in our sun salutations. So come all the way to lay down on your tummy, on your mat. Then you're going to slide your hands with the palms facing down, all the way back down by your lower ribs. So between your chest and your belly. You're going to suck those elbows in towards your body. And push down into the back of your hand, into the heel right at the bottom here. So you take a breath in, roll your shoulders and just begin to lift your chest to look forward. Only as far as comfortable. Pausing here as you breathe in. And out. In. And out. In. And out. Sliding back down onto the floor. And then bringing yourself all the way back up. Let's see what we have next on the wheel. We have got a breathing exercise. So this is our humming bee breath. So for this one, either coming to your knees or sitting on your bottom, whichever you prefer. Growing nice and tall through the body. Using that golden thread to lift you high. This just gives us lots of space in those lungs to take in lots of air. So our humming bee breath means we get to make lots of lovely noise, just like all the bees that are doing their work outside in the gardens. So we take a big breath in through the nose, and as we breathe out, we hum like a bee until you run all the way out of air, then breathing in, humming out. So we might all be humming at different times because we all breathe a different amount. That's okay. So we're going to sit nice and tall, okay? If you want to, you can close your eyes and just really notice if you can feel that buzzy feeling around your face and maybe even in your throat. So when you're ready, big breath in. Breathe out with a hum. for calming, busy, noisy minds. And it's also good fun because you get to make lots of noise. Okay, so now we're nice and calm. Let's see what we're going to do next. Your turn to spin the wheel. We have got, what's that one? Can you see? Warrior one. Oh, warrior one. So we need to hop all the way up to our feet for this one. Really good at building strength in those legs. So standing up nice and tall. And because it's not symmetrical, we're going to do this one on both sides. So you can do whichever side you want first. Take a big step forward with one foot and bend that knee. Then turn your back one so the foot is coming off diagonally at what we call 45 degrees. So we're standing nice and firm in the legs. You're going to sweep your arms up high. Spread those fingers nice and wide as you look straight forwards. Maybe even looking slightly up towards your ceiling. So you take a big breath in and out. In and out. Lower the arms down. We're going to swap sides. You can either face the other way or you can do a little hop to swap those feet over. Bending that front knee, back foot diagonally out to the side. Then sweep those arms up high, spreading those fingertips nice and wide. 
you take a big breath in and out, in and out. Bring the arms down, give your legs a little shake, you might have felt just how hard they were working there. Okay, so is it my turn to spin the wheel? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to give it a spin and see what we've got this time. It is a different breathing exercise. This is our snake breath. Okay, so this one's really cooling and calming, and it's a good one if you're feeling a little bit warm too. So once again, find yourself a comfortable seated position, either on your knees or on your bottom. Remember to grow nice and tall, make space in your lungs, and you can rest your hands down on your lap. Our snakes also make lots of noise, but they don't buzz, they hiss. So we're going to breathe in through the nose. As we breathe out through the mouth, it's just like you're blowing out through a straw or wagging your snake tongue with a hiss, okay? So breathing in. Soon as you run out of air, breathing in, hissing out. Two more. Last one. So what scary hissing snakes we are today. Okay, so it's your turn to spin the wheel, my lovely helper. What have we got there? That is on plank pose, only just. So this is a great pose for building lots and lots of strength in the body. And actually, if you've been doing PE with Joe, you've probably been practicing your plank pose already. So you can either do it like Phoebe down on your elbows, or I'm going to demonstrate it up on your hands. But you want to have a straight line from your shoulder, either down to the elbow or your hands. So we'll start on all fours. I'm going to have my hands beneath my shoulders. Phoebe's got her elbows under her. And you're going to tuck your toes underneath, lifting your legs off the floor. Making yourself in a nice straight line, just like a plank. Taking some nice deep breaths here. It's great for building strength in the arms, through the abdomen where your belly is. Take one more big breath. And then gently lower your knees back down. So if it ever feels a little bit strong, you can always lower your knees. Or just like Phoebe, you can do it down on your arms. Just makes it a bit lighter on your wrists. Okay, did you spin the plank? Yeah. Okay, so it's my turn to spin the wheel. What do we have this time? Plank again. Oh, you spin it again. A bit too soon for another plank here. Let's give it another spin. I don't mind giving them again, but not too many. Wow. Okay, this time we've got. Oh, this oh. is my little boy's favourite, this one, rock pose. It's a really great place to come when you want to feel safe and calm and secure. So you can either keep your knees together and your feet together and curl up on top of your legs. Or if you prefer, you can take those knees a little bit wider. Allow your head to soften down towards the floor. Either use your hands as a pillow. Or bring your arms next to your legs. Even close the eyes here as you focus on that breathing, feeling the air coming in and out, in and out, in and out. Slowly unroll it. Bring yourself back up tall. And any time you need a rest or you feel a little bit too um, busy in your brain, it's a great place to come and rest, whether it's during yoga practice or just any time you need it at home. Okay, so give that wheel a spin, my glamorous assistant. We have got oh, a tree pose. This is great. We haven't practiced any balance today. So balance is a really good at building strength in the body, but also helping to make your mind nice and focused and calm. 
So again, this is not symmetrical, so we're going to be doing both sides. So go ahead and choose whichever foot you want to stand on first. And really spread out the toes as if you're sending roots down into the earth, just like a tree. Bring those hands together in front of your heart. And stand tall through your head. Then bring your opposite foot to rest on your ankle so your knee is pointing out to the side. Don't forget to fix those eyes on something that's not moving to help you with your balance. You could keep your foot here in a nice low tree, or you might, if your balance feels good, consider sliding your foot just below your knee. If you're super flexible and you do this all the time, your balance is really stable, you can even pick up this foot and put it all the way up into your thigh, but that's a bit too much for me. So I'm gonna stay here. Take one more big breath here. Popping the foot back down, give everything a little shake and a wiggle. And then we're gonna try that on the other side and it might feel totally different. It might be a little less wobbly, it might be even more wobbly. Let's see. So let's spread our toes and send them down into the floor, bringing those hands to the heart. Pop that other foot against the ankle so your toes are still touching the floor. Beautiful. Fix those eyes on that point that's not moving. Maybe leave your tree here today. Maybe take your foot a little higher, just below or all the way above the knee. See if you can hold that balance. I know it's tricky sometimes. One more breath. And then give it all a good shake out. Well done. Who's on the train? You again. So it's my turn already. How exciting. That was a really big spin too. So we're going to do warrior two this time. So this is a little bit different this, to warrior one. This is the second warrior. It warrior. is the second warrior. So it's another really good one at building strength through the legs and a little bit in the abdomen too. It's not symmetrical again. So we're going to practice this on both sides. So standing with some space in front of you. Choose whichever leg you want to step forward with first. And then you're turning your back one to face the other way. So sideways. A 90 degree angle, like the corner of a square. Okay, so again, we're going to bend that front knee. We're going to walk this one nice and long. And you're pushing down into that back foot as much as the front one, tall through the body, lifting up. Then floating those arms up at shoulder height, looking out over the hand that's above your bent knee. Nice and brave and strong, like a warrior. So you take a big breath in and out. In and out. Float those hands down to your hip. We're just going to stay here and simply turn it round. So turn that front foot to face the side. Turn the back foot to face the back. And then bend the other knee this time. So you've got that same shape, but you're facing the other way. Stand nice and tall through the crown of your head. And then float your arms out at shoulder height, looking over those fingertips like a brave warrior. Taking a big breath in and out. In and out. Floating the arms down. Bring the feet back together and it's your turn to spin the wheel. Okay, we'll probably have time for about three more depending on what we get. So, what have you got for us? Well, we already Rock have pose. That's okay, we've done it before, but we can do this one again. So, coming down to your knee, either keep them together or take them a little wider apart. Maybe try the opposite to the one you did the first time. Then begin to curl your body over your neck, making yourself really small, just like a rock or a pebble. Use your hands as a pillow, or bring them down next to your leg. Close the eyes as you breathe in, and out, in, and out. 
Lovely. Coming back up tall. Let's see if we can get something here through this time. We have got. Do you want to do a bumblebee breath again? No. no. No, we've done both breathing practices, so let's try a different spin. Oh, downward facing dog. So this is one that we can do quite a lot. It's your favourite, that's lovely. So if you come down onto your knee, make sure those knees are underneath your hips so you've got a nice straight line. And that your hands are underneath your shoulders. So again, another straight line. You're going to spread your fingers nice and wide on the floor. And really push down through the pads of your fingers. So the bit where your fingernails are. Once you've done all of that, we're going to tuck the toes underneath. Then lift those hips up to make that upside down V shape. We focus on our breathing here, start to breathe in and out a little more deeply. So this is another great strength builder, building strength in the arms and the legs. But also those muscles in the belly too. Take one more big breath in and out. And then pop your knees all the way back down. So I think we've got time for one more spin. So I'm going to let you do this one for me. We're going to spin it the other way. You're going to spin it the other way. Oh, rebel. Yeah. And we want to finish on a plank pose. Nice. Let's see if we can get a different one. Go on, one last try. Can I take our mystery prize? <gasps> yes, I am our mystery prize. <laughs> you, you can't make this stuff up, can you? Okay, so for our mystery prize, I've got a selection of different breathing and um, pose cards from the wonderful Yoga Pretzels collection. These are great to have at home. Okay, so if uh, Phoebe could close her eyes for me, so face the camera so they know your eyes are closed. And then reach in, hold on, and pick one of the cards without looking. And it is the bunny breath. The bunny rabbit breath. This is a great one to finish on, actually. So for this one, if you could come onto your knees, if that's comfortable, and then grow tall through the body, just as you were. And we're going to make ourselves into bunny rabbit. So you can either have some paws in front of your chest, or you can have some rabbit ears on top. That's totally your choice. You pick which one you would like. Make sure you've got lots of space in the body. And for this one. We're going to take three sniffs in through the nose, you get that twitchy nose, and one long sniff back out, okay? So, sniffing in three times, out once. One more. Lovely. Now our bunny's feeling just a little bit sleepy. So we're going to start to make our way down to the ground. So coming down to lay on your back and giving those knees a little cuddle in towards your tummy. So hugging them in nice and tight. Maybe it feels nice to gently rock your body from side to side. And then allow yourself to stop in the centre as you pop your feet down onto the floor. If you have space, taking your arms out wide next to you. Otherwise, maybe bending the elbows. And then just let your knees come down to one side of your body together into a little twist. Maybe if it's comfortable, you could look in the opposite direction to your knee. Take a big breath in and out here. And again in and out. Gently bring your knees up to the middle and let them drop down the other way to the other side. Perhaps look over that opposite shoulder, so the other way to your knees. So you take a big breath in and out, in and out. Bringing your knees back to the middle, 
As you come to lay in a comfortable position on your back for relaxation. So maybe stretching the legs out long. Make sure you have your cuddly toy and a blanket if you're using one. If you're growing up nearby, maybe they can help tuck you in to make you nice and comfortable. And just have a little wriggle until you can find a place that you can become nice and still. When you do, allow your eyes to close. Just settling into that stillness. Simply resting back, allowing the body to relax. Close your eyes tightly and go inside. Notice your breathing and know that all is well. Repeat these words silently to yourself as you rest in stillness. May I be safe and loved. May I be happy and healthy. May I be kind and caring. May I know that all is well. And as you lay here, feeling that everything is well. Perhaps noticing the sounds around you. Maybe in the distance you can hear birds singing in the tree. Imagining the blue sky in front of you and the warmth of the sun on your belly. As you take a moment in quiet, simply noticing what you can hear and feel. to gently wriggle your fingers and your toes as you slowly and kindly bring yourself up to a seated position growing tall through the body lifting the crown of your head as your hands rest in your lap and we take three deep breaths together just as we began smelling the flowers blowing the dandelions as we bring our hands together in front of our hearts, as the goodness in me sees the goodness in all of you, we bow our heads forward and now we stay. So thank you for joining us this afternoon for our Wheel of Fortune yoga practice. We will be back here at the same time on Thursday at 1.30. And the theme will be very similar.
although it will be targeted um, for children aged between 7 and 11. So we will be changing a few of the things on the wheel and our um, sun salutation sequence and relaxation will be a little bit different to today.